these are the instructions for my book that is a box. We're going to start with the base piece for the box. I'm just going to fold on all the score lines. And so next I have my lining piece. I'm just gluing my lining piece into the center of my box. I'm going to start with one of the long sides. So I'm just going to put glue from the first score line to the edge of this piece. And then I'm going to tuck this under and fold it flat like so. So let's just do that on the other side, putting glue just between the score line and the cut edge. So I'm folding it on the first score line and tucking this piece under and then folding the piece flat. Next, I'm just going to put glue on this tab. I'm going to fold this over on the first tab and then fold this downwards towards the base. I'm going to do the other side the exact same way. I'm putting glue on this tab, folding it over at the first score line. Then I'm just tucking this underneath and gluing it to the base of my box. So I'm pushing my four sides towards the center and those end pieces form these nice mitered corners. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue in a triangular shape here and here as well. And then I'm just going to push my box back together, making sure that I have those nice 90 degree angles at my mitered corners. I'm going to do the exact same thing for the other side as well. I'm just putting glue on the back of my frame piece and adding it to my box. Next, I'm going to work on the back and the front cover of my book. So I have two pieces of chipboard that are the same size and two pieces to cover my chipboard. We're just going to put glue on the back of our chipboard and then we're going to glue it down, making sure that we're placing it within the score lines. I'm going to take my tool and I'm just going to trace around the edges. If you don't have this kind of tool, you can always use a ballpoint pen that's run out of ink. All four corners are going to be folded down the same way. Fold each of them down on top of your chipboard so that it's forming a right angle triangle on the corner. And next I'm going to put glue in the corner against the corner of that chipboard, a little bit on the chipboard itself. I'm just going to fold my piece down. I'm just going to go in with a bone folder. If you don't have a bone folder, you can use a ruler or anything with a straight edge. I'm just reinforcing that little ledge and flattening that triangle. I'm doing that on both sides, so like so. And I'm doing that with all four corners. So all the four corners are, have been glued down. I'm going to lift my chipboard and just use the edge of my chipboard to coax my paper into place by folding it over like so. It's good to go along the edges and make sure that your paper is flush with the edges. If you're looking for a nice crisp edge and a nice corner. Now I'm just going to go in with my glue. I'm putting my glue right on the edge of my chipboard and then on that piece that gets folded over. And I'm doing that for all four sides, just putting glue on the edge of the chipboard like so, and then glue on that tab that gets folded over. So now that I've finished one panel, I'm going to do the second panel the exact same way. So next I have my decorative panels for the back and the front. So for your cover, you want to put your decorative panel right up against the left side edge, and then you want an even border on the three remaining sides, and you're going to glue it down that way. For the back of your book, you want your decorative panel to be flush against the right hand side and you want the even border on the remaining three sides. You're going to glue them down in that position. So next we have these three strips, one long one and two short ones. And on the top 
on the bottom of my box to make them look like pages. The long one will go on the right hand side because the book will open this way so we're going to glue it on the right hand side. I've used white vinyl as the title to my book. I've made this wax seal and I've adhered it with double-sided tape so I'm going to take this panel with a score line on the left hand side. So I'm just folding down on that score line. So I've just covered this panel with glue. I'm going to put my cover piece down. It's right up against that score line. So you see there's an even outline all the way around. And then I'm going to put glue along the edge of this tab. I'm just gluing it along the score line. So both edges here are flush against my box. It closes nicely and opens nicely as well. I'm going to flip my box over and I'm just going to glue my back panel to the back of my box. So I'm just covering the back of my box with glue. I'm just placing my back cover. So this has to be flush with the back of your box. You have an even border on the rest of the three sides. My last touch is this piece of faux leather. So I've done score lines so I know exactly where the center of my piece is and I'm just going to fold down on those score lines. And when I cut it, I cut it with the shiny side down on the mat so that I could see these score lines. So I'm just going to put glue on my faux leather and glue it to the binding of my book. 